Hi Excellers, welcome to another how to excel at excel.com video. Today we're going to look at creating a sales pipeline or funnel chart in Excel. These charts are widely used in business to show the various stages that sales leads would be at in the sales pipeline. You would usually have a trend of reducing values at each of the stages of prospects as they do work their way through the pipeline. So you may have a large quantity of leads at the start of your sales campaign which reduce in size as they progress through your sales funnel depending on the success uh, you, that you get on gaining new business from the leads. So how do we create one in Excel? Well they aren't readily available. You can't go to insert chart in Excel and go to recommended charts or any of the other charts. It just isn't available as a standalone chart that you can just really quickly insert. But with a bit of creativity, we can create a pipeline. So let's get started. So we have our sales data here. We have our sales stages and the number of records at each stage. And we can see here that initially we had two and a half thousand prospects and eventually 25% of them have entered into a negotiation in this example. So let's go ahead and build the funnel chart. So we can select our data and insert. So let's go ahead and insert and we want a 3D column chart. First thing we want to do is switch the rows and columns which we can do in the design tab and this gives the stacked effect. Now we want to get rid of that 3D effect. I'm not a big fan of that in charts so what we can do is right click on your chart data and you'll see 3D rotation that takes us into those settings and it's the presets of the X and Y rotation that gives that 3D effect and if you just change those both to zero that will get rid of your 3D effect. The next thing we want to do is change this stacked chart to a pyramid so if we right click on the data series, hit format data series and we'll get some series options and one of those is column shape and we want to select full pyramid. So that's good, it's looking more and more like a funnel chart but we actually want to flip that round and we want the prospecting to be at the top of our chart and the negotiation at the bottom. So we can easily do that by and it takes us into our axis options if we scroll down to this area we can hit values in reverse order and that gives us our inverted pyramid shape. If you want to display all the data labels if you just click on your chart and go to chart element and go to data labels you can have them as a call out which works on some charts but this one's a bit cluttered so if you just hit you just and hit more data label options it'll display those so you can move them around if you wish if they're too small to see so we can do a bit more chart tidying up if you want to get rid of the grid lines hit format grid lines and no lines and if you want to get rid of your vertical axis values because we already have our data labels you can just highlight that and hit delete to neaten up the chart a bit. So whilst this is a representation of the data uh, in our sales pipeline, do be careful with the charts. They can be slightly misleading with regards to the data area of each section as they do not exactly represent proportionally the other sections within the chart. But for a, a visual representation, if you're putting on a dashboard and such like, it's a really good, it's a really good way to visualize your data. So that's how to create a sales pipeline funnel chart. If you want to download the practice workbook, click on the link below. If you want to read the blog post that associates this video, you can do so below as well. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you again for another How to Excel at Excel video.